down to doing a blog on my closet. Um, a little bit of a mess right now, but I figure I'll show you some of my favorite things, some new items, some favorite shoes, um, some new bags, and just give you an overall look in my closet. Louis Vuitton and I got this in Vegas. So let me show you a few. Oh wait, I have another Louis. Oh my god. It's a pink Louis Vuitton clutch. And it has a purple stone here and then you turn it and it opens and the inside is pink. a lot of my bags right now on hangers because I'm waiting for um, my closet to get redone. It's white with silver. Love it. It's the caviar leather. I have the lambskin leather and it gets scratched really, really easily. And I normally wear them with both of the um, straps like this, but once in a while I'll drop it down and wear just one, but it's definitely a different look. Another one of my favorite Chanel bags is this one. It's black caviar leather again with gold. So this one is a little bit different. I think it's the same size as this. Yeah. Here's um, a Gucci Python snake bag, but I actually got this at the airport in Switzerland, duty free. Um, I thought it was so cute. I was walking around with it in the shopping bag and I boarded my flight and went to Greece. And then when we landed in Greece, they called me and made me pay tax. So it wasn't tax free after all. It was my bag all summer long. I literally lived with this bag. carrying this bag by Mulberry, and it's called the Alexa bag, because she loved it, or designed it, or something. Super cute, low key, laid back looking. Um, just really slouchy and comfy. It comes with a strap. Louis Vuitton, um, I have it in this white pearl kind of color, and then this red. Ferrari red. Jelly apple red. I'm definitely not a red kind of girl. But when I saw this, it was like a statement piece. My first clutch that I got was YSL black. The second clutch I got is a Louis Vuitton. My first small bag I ever got was this black Fendi bag. I even think I got this at an outlet. I think the Woodbury Commons in New York. The first designer bag I ever bought myself. I think it's the Speedy 35. Second bag. I got was this. And I love this print for summer. I also got the matching belt with this. I do wear it together. I don't think it's tacky. I didn't have anything black at the time, so I got this. It's such a special item. I wear it with just black clothes. This is like the statement color in my outfit whenever I wear it. Another one of my favorite pieces is um, the Gucci Fanny Pack. I wear this if I go to like Runyon Canyon or if I take my dogs on a, on a walk or anything. I have to say Gucci has like amazing sales during the holidays and when they do, I used to stock up. 
So I got both of these at 50% off from Gucci. Okay, now moving on to shoes. They just came out for fall. They are not typically what I would ever go for. Louboutin, the daffodils, Lady Daff. I think this one is because it has this. So I'm like 6'4 with these. <laughs> My first pair of Louboutins ever, ever, ever were these and my now husband bought them for me when we were in London. Like the most coveted shoe at the time when this came out, it was a must have for me. These are also Louboutin. They're really comfy and super easy to walk in. These shoes I absolutely love. They were new this summer. The only thing is I haven't worn them. Why? The back is cut too short for my heel. I didn't realize at the time when I was walking on the carpet. So every time I do try to wear them, my heels slip out of them. Just even sell them online myself. You can rock a pair of heels like this with a bikini. That you can pair, you know, a cheap pair of pants, a cheap shirt, a cheap dress with a slamming pair of heels. Here's my color blocked booty. And these shoes are super special, and even though I don't wear them that often, the reason I can't give them up is because Mr. Louboutin signed them to me. Um, I forget what they're called, something like Butterfly, I think. I love them so much, I even got them in tan. The second purchase from Louboutin um, in 2009 were these two um, wedges. Um, I love it because it has a metallic tip, which makes them really cute and special. Another shoe I got in pairs were these in 2010. They're just really heavy to walk in. So I fell in love when these came out. And of course I fell in love with the feminine bow and then I got them in black. And hello, meet their younger sister, the red ones. These my husband surprised me with when we first started dating as well. They're Python, he got them in London. Cause like I said, you can't buy Python here in California. I got these. Victoria Beckham had them. I fell in love. And these are amazing. This section here is like t-shirts. This is tank, oops. This is tank tops, all in here. Um, this is kind of like tunic kind of shirts. I have a lot of jeans. I have a lot of them here. And then I have some of them here. These are a few of my fur. This is a lot more obvious than wearing leather shoes, leather belts. The process, how different is the process from getting leather for shoes and goods than it is for fur? Purple-ish spray. I absolutely love this one and loved it. It's white and brown. It's a little bit different shape. Peaks at the bottom, short in the back. From the same company as that one, Eve Solomon, Solomon. So if you're gonna get a fur vest, um, I would go with black. I wear it all the time. It goes with everything. This amazing green. I wore this to Fashion Week LA. This one is from Alice and Olivia. I got this in London. Sadie, sit. Sadie, down. 
good boy, Sadie. Yay!